In this video, I will show you how to play Brew Second Pro. The first things I will be going over is two builds that I prefer, and then I will do two gameplays, one in solo and one in big teams. And if these tips do help you, then leave a like and subscribe. With that said, let's begin. Now for the builds. The build that I recommend for you to use in your solo rounds are the following. Jungle Shoes, Nitro Shotgun, Happy Treats, and Bandages. Nitro Shotgun is a must in my opinion because his shotgun is the most valuable weapon in the game. It has range and it's the most powerful weapon. So using this gives you more power and more range. And Jungle Shoes is also extremely useful because it's the only thing that could possibly give him a boost of speed. Right here I definitely needed to catch up to this level 10 Skippy. The next build is for duos, trios, or big teams. Now for the build. Jungle Shoes, Nitro Shotgun, Vampire Teeth, and Happy Treats. But you can replace Vampire Teeth for Defibrillator if you want. And now for what items you should never use on Bruce. All knockback items, snorkel, clown nose, and adrenaline shot because you will usually have enough time to press the medikit because you have so much health. Now for the solo gameplay. In this round, I will be using happy treats, wake up coffee, natural shotgun, and jungle shoes. It seems like I'm going to be put on the legendary guard, which is really good because I can be able to take him out pretty easily, and with my wake up coffee, I will be able to collect the weapon very fastly. The worst case scenario, a Nyx shows up and he takes it out, but then I will take him out. So right now, I'm going to take out this um, legendary guard. Thankfully, thanks to my wake up coffee, I was able to collect it before the Nyx. And right now, I'm not going to chase him down. That's never the option. That's never the way to go. I don't even have all weapons. Hopefully, the Solari comes in. And just like that, I got an easy dub. And I also got a spear, and now I am full weapons. So you never want to run after others. Instead, you want others to think that you're not good enough or you're low so that they can chase you, and then you can basically lure them into your trap. And although Bruce is extremely powerful, if you can't get to someone, then you will never win that fight. So, in this example, I was able to get to this Pepper fairly easy because he was very slow, and he wasn't far away already. But, in other situations, if you were trying to fight a long range character like Pepper, Fuzzy, or Milo, then you will usually not stand a chance because they will be able to easily shoot you from far away and you wouldn't be able to catch up to them in time. And whenever you really need to just get around, then I would recommend to go near the bushes because as you can see right now, I'm basically getting nowhere because I'm extremely slow. And right now I'm just going to take out this level seven because there's no point in letting him live because in the end he could be an issue. And I am going to use the med kit just to collect this one even though it's not going to help me a lot, I would still recommend to you do it because it will allow someone else to not have an extra med kit which could potentially save you in the late game. I am taking a lot of damage right now. I am down to half my health which is not good. So I'm just going to use my happy treats to heal back to full health hopefully before the fire catches up. Right now I don't want this Donna to bother me. I do need to get out of the house. That Donna definitely um, ruined my chance of getting to full health, but hopefully if I get into the bushes I'll be able to hide and heal myself after taking out this jade that is the reason why I lost some of this health. Right now um, I'm just going to use my med kit so I can get a new one, not because I need it, but like I said before it's allowing someone else to not have a med kit which can definitely benefit you. That did do a bit of damage. I'm down to half health. Hopefully I will be able to heal myself again in a bush over here. And I really just want to be left alone right now. That Lizzie is definitely a bother, but now I'm at full health, so this should be a breeze. This level 10 shouldn't be that big of an issue, even though he has Molotov and Cluster Bombs. I would not recommend Molotov and Cluster Bombs on Bruce, although it can be effective at times, I'd recommend some of the more powerful builds like the one that I'm using where you use Nitro Shotgun and never ever waste your 
items on stuff like Nitro Spear because it has such little range that there's absolutely no point and you're usually not going to do a lot of damage with it. That is it for the solo gameplay and now for the big team's gameplay. In this round, I will be using Happy Treats, Vampire Teeth, Nitro Shotgun, and Jungle Shoes. It seems like I'm getting put in a grassy field, which is actually extremely good because Jungle Shoes will make it a lot easier to maneuver around, so I will never be left behind by my group. And I'm also getting put with the Frank, which is a level 11, which is also the newest character, and I've never played with one before, so let's see how that turns out. Right now, I'm just going to collect this med kit, and it seems like we're doing pretty good so far. It seems like I'm getting another med kit right now, and I think the legendary guard is here. So I'm going to take him out, and hopefully I get the shotgun. And I guess I didn't. A level 8 Larry did. Now, one important role in big teams or in any team game mode is to never take the legendary weapon if you're a lower level. In this case, I'm a level 10. There's also a level 11. But the Larry that's a level 8 chose to take it and obviously anyone of a higher level could use it better. So giving it to the higher level just gives you and your team a better chance of winning. Now that I see that it is a level 14, I don't want to continue to chase it but I do have to stick with my team. That's one of the biggest rules in a team game mode. I really just want to kind of direct my team to come towards me. Doesn't seem like they're listening though. One character is, but that's not going to be enough. So I just have to stick with my team, even though it's not the best idea. Like I said before in the solo round, Bruce's thing is really just to get other people to come towards him. But other than that, if I were to rank his weapons, I would rank it. Obviously shotgun being the best, then it would go to my bomb and then spear being the last. Spear is actually one of the worst because it has such little range, so that's why I wouldn't bother using anything on it. I do want to get that legendary shotgun, but I'll leave it for my teammates at the cell level 11 because he'll probably have a better chance of winning with it. I am lagging, which is not good, and I'm also going to have to cross this body of water, which is really bad because other people can easily take me out while I'm in the water, but thankfully no one targeted me. And I just noticed that I do need a shotgun, so hopefully I get one. That golden shotgun is perfect timing because um, that means that my whole team also got a new shotgun, like that Nyx. The only person that didn't get a new one is the Fuzzy and the Elephant because he already had a good shotgun. And as a tank, your main goal is to really just absorb all the damage and with my shotgun i should be able to do a lot of damage i'm just waiting for the right time so i can shoot all of them at once like right now and just like that i took out basically half the team i don't know where the last person is and it looks like it's right here and with that guys i did just win as mvp with six kills that is it for this video guys if you did enjoy then make sure to leave a like and subscribe and also comment down below what other characters you want me to do character guides on and if you can think of any other tips and tricks for Bruce. With that said, I will see you guys next time.